Hello, everyone, and happy Monday. Welcome to day one of our meal planning group. I um, am going to take some time to break down the first step in the process. This is, in my opinion, the foundation of your meal planning. If you do not have a method for sourcing recipes, then you are absolutely not going to be successful uh, in meal planning. I know that there are a million things on the internet. I know that there are a thousand cookbooks for sale at any Barnes and Noble store. But I'm telling you right now, the very best source for all recipes is Pinterest. I mean, I think we all have an account. If you do not have an account, you need to pause this video, log into Pinterest.com, and set one up. That is going to be critical in meal planning for you because the coolest thing about Pinterest is everything on the internet is in one website. So when you're looking for a specific Italian meal or Mexican dish, you just go to Pinterest and it's going to pull up everything that is out there and then you're going to be able to save it because this is a wonderful website that was designed to help moms like you and I get organized when it comes to recipes. So today I'm going to show you how to use Pinterest to your absolute full-blown benefit. Um, what are some of the tricks that I use to navigate Pinterest and how do I go back and find them in the craziness of, you know, the millions of pins or billions of pins available on Pinterest. So first step is if you are not a current account holder of Pinterest, please go set up a free account. I'm um, super simple, takes less than a couple of minutes and you'll be ready to join us again. So go do that and then come back, pause me and come back. Uh, for those that already have it, let's get going. Um, the first thing, I'm going to share my computer screen with you today. And um, so you can watch me actually do it. There is a delay in my computer. And so my, my talking and my screen might not align. But you should be able to follow me pretty simply still. Um, the very first thing that you see on my computer screen is just a general search engine in Pinterest of healthy dinners. Now, I'm a health and fitness coach. I focus on healthy, balanced meals, so therefore, that's what I'm searching. But this can be applied to anything that you're, you're searching. If you're searching for Mexican meals or you know Italian and you're not really concerned with it being a healthier or a lighter version, type that in. You'll get it the same way. Uh, the main thing is just to find recipes that you want to cook for your family. So healthy dinners is a natural search term. And uh, you, I see several here off the bat that I really want to add uh, to my recipe collection. So what I'm going to do is start scrolling. And I can tell you off the bat, I want to make the sheet pan steak and veggies. That not only looks tasty, it actually looks like it's a one dish. So I'm not going to be in the kitchen cleaning up all night. And it looks like it's going to taste pretty good. So um, once I find a recipe that jumps out at me or a picture of a food that I like, I'm going to click on that and it's going to show this screen, which is just basically a larger picture of that one recipe, right? So uh, here is where the first trick comes in, is how do you save this to easily reference back, right? I have a million boards on Pinterest. I have, I pin like crazy from my daughter's room to home decorating ideas to fitness. I am constantly on Pinterest. And so therefore I have a lot of different boards on my account. So in order to be able to identify my weekly meals, I have a board. Now for this video, I'm going to create a new board with all of you to show you how I do it. So once I identify a meal that I want to make, I'm going to open it to this by clicking on it. Then I'm going to hit the red save with the push pin. And that is going to tell me, ask me, where do I want to save it at? And I'm going to tell you right now, the trick is to have a, a board that is just for your weekly meals. You can see that I have one right here already, but I'm going to create a new one just for the purpose of this group. I'm going to click and I'm going to type family weekly meals. You can title it whatever you want to title it so that you know when you are sourcing Pinterest recipes, that is something that you want to make in the coming weeks or the next month. You drop it in to that board. Here is the next secret. You're going to make this board secret. That's the next tip. It needs to be a secret board. This is not because you're trying to hide your meals. No. This is because you need to be able to find this board the absolute fastest to reduce like time wasteful. You're not going to be wasting time looking for it. Anytime you have a 
secret board. It goes to the very bottom of your Pinterest boards. So you just go to your account on Pinterest and scroll to the bottom and you're going to see your secret boards. You can click on your family weekly mail board and you're there. You're not having to look through every single board to find it. You're able to go straight to it because you've, you've made it secret. It's a time saving method to refer back to your board. It is not to be like secretive. Um, so you'll create that board. And then what I do is I typically hop on Pinterest once every couple of days. I don't spend a lot of time on Pinterest unless I'm specifically working on a project. But I can't tell you how many times I'm in a car line and I really have, I'm just sitting on my phone and I'll go to Pinterest and I'll type in healthy dinners and I will be saving. Or if I know that I want to make like enchiladas that night, well, I'm going to search up healthy enchiladas. Um, or if I want something on the grill, I'm going to be, uh, you know, grilling recipes. I just always look for new recipes through Pinterest, right? So if you're sitting in your car and car line, get on Pinterest for five minutes and add recipes to your secret weekly meal board. Your goal is to have at least 10 recipes in that board when you go to meal plan later in the week or on the weekend whenever you're getting ready to for the next meal week's worth of meals. But you don't need 100. You just need to spend a little bit of time throughout the week and um, find if you're sitting at a doctor's appointment or you know you're waiting if you're in bed and you can't fall asleep, grab your phone, spend five minutes, look for some recipes and add it to that board. It's not, it doesn't require you to spend all day doing it. And really when you get too many options, it can kind of get like, well, what do I want? So just spend a few minutes um, throughout the week, several different times throughout the week and add one or two recipes a day until you get a pretty good amount to choose from over the weekend when you're meal planning for the next week. So I'm going to go through and find a couple of more to add because I'm going to be using this as my meal planning with you guys throughout the week. Um, I have made this right here. This is actually a one pan pesto chicken and veggies with sun dried tomatoes and it is delicious. So I'm going to save that to my um, weekly family weekly meals. So I had to type it in to find it. Um, baked honey mustard chicken with a touch of lemon. That sounds delicious. I'm going to add that to my secret board. Um, skinny burrito bowls. I'm all over anything Mexican food. I'm going to save that. And then, you know, I saw a recipe the other day that was like a healthy Italian salmon. So I'm going to just type in healthy Italian meals and see what comes up. Okay, this didn't type right. I'm sorry. Let me go back. Healthy Italian dinners. I've already searched it once. There it is. There's a little delay. But you see this pesto salmon and Italian veggies and foil? Dude, we are like all over that at the Morris house. So I'm going to save that. Um... And if you guys haven't tried the spaghetti squash yet, let's talk because I can share some of my favorite spaghetti squash recipes with you. They are amazing. And then my family loves Mexican food, so I'm going to search up healthy – sorry, my computer's acting up a bit today – healthy Mexican recipes. Let's see what we come up with. So you can type in anything because you're going to find recipes for whatever it is you're looking for. Hang on, it's still on Italian for some reason. Healthy Mexican recipes. It's searching, it's just slow. But um, the reason you want to have a variety is because what looks good to you now might not look good to you on the weekend. So it's always good to just have a large database of recipes for um, for your meal planning. My computer is, I have the worst internet in the world. I'm trying to see. It's not pulling them up right now. It's my computer. It's not Pinterest. Um, so I'm trying to find a healthy enchilada recipe. So we are going to keep going through this 
until I find one. Looks like my internet is really slow right now. I'm sorry. Um, it is just not coming off of this board, is it? Okay, well then I'm gonna go over to my board and show you the next part of this process. So that's your, your job today is to create a Pinterest account if you don't already have one, and then it is going to be to start sourcing recipes and saving them to a secret board. Um, this will all make sense to you whenever we get to the next steps, but definitely take time to do this today. Sorry, I'm trying to get my Pinterest to refresh. Um, so do it from your phone when you're in the car, not driving, but you know, if you're sitting there and you've got five, 10 minutes on your hands, you gotta kill some time, start sourcing your recipes. I used to source my recipes and meal plan all at the same time, but I found that I, I could easily remove that step from that process by doing it a little bit throughout the week when I had, when I was mindlessly scrolling through Facebook. I now get off of Facebook and I'll go to Pinterest and actually do something that's going to benefit me from a time, you know, savings perspective uh, later in the week. Um, so that is your job today. That is the first step in, and that's just getting a good database of recipes to work from. Now, tomorrow we're going to talk about um, getting them all organized. So I'm going to share something with you now. We'll touch again on it tomorrow. But once you have cooked that recipe, and here's that board, by the way. So I'm gonna, you're gonna, you see what I did? I just scrolled all the way to the bottom because I have all those boards, and I clicked on weekly family weekly meal board and it's going to open up everything that I'd saved throughout the week these are all the ones that I've saved with you guys now on the call um, what is the next part of this step and is we're going to organize our meals and then we're going once we get our meals organized um, there is a there's a method behind that so be sure and watch that video tomorrow but once we do that we need to clear this board out so the purpose of this board is to just be a holding tank for recipes. Once you try that recipe, if you don't like it, you just go up to the skinny burrito bowl. I'm sorry, I'm picking on that. I'm gonna click on edit. And then I'm just gonna click on delete pen. And that recipe is gonna go away for good. You're not gonna make it again. Your family didn't like it and just clear it out. But, Let's pretend that the skinny burrito bowl was the very best thing you've ever had in your entire life and your kids want it weekly. Well, that is where you're going to transfer this pen to another board. So I have boards on my personal page that are healthy family, dinners, breakfast, snacks, and lunches. So anytime I try a recipe and my family loved it, I go into the holding tank, which is that secret board. I'm going to click, I'm going to go to the recipe my family loved. I'm going to click on save it. And it's going to be like I'm saving it twice. And that's, that's what you want. I'm then going to search for my family dinner recipe. And you can see that you just type what board you're looking for in there. And I have a healthy family dinners. I'm going to click on save it. So I'm going to save this pin into that board. So right now I have it in my secret board and I have it in my family dinner board. So what I'm gonna do now is now I'm gonna delete it out of the holding tank. So I'll go in, I'll edit. Once I saved it, remember if you don't like it, delete it. But if you like it, you need to save it to a permanent board and then you're gonna delete this pen and it's gonna go away out of the holding tank. So you've still retained it in a Pinterest board of tried and tested approved recipes, but you do not want to hold on to all these recipes in your holding tank. These are for new, fresh recipes that, um, that spark your interest. And then there will be some weeks that you just go to your permanent board, you know, that you transfer stuff to and, and plan out of there. So you, you really have different options. But I find that if I save my recipes that I have not tried, that I want to try to a secret board first, and then I manipulate them. I delete them if I don't like them, or I move them to a general dinner board later. Then um, I always have a collection of recipes at my hand. 
And because I like variety, I typically try most of my recipes, 50% of the time are new recipes and the other 50% are things I know my family likes. So um, that, is, that is really how Pinterest is to be used in a meal planning state. So that is a very simple tool to effectively meal plan, to get the foundation of meal planning uh, for you to get it started. So that is your assignment today. Your assignment is to start a Pinterest board and to start sourcing your recipes in inside of a, um, a secret board, mainly because it's the fastest way to pull the recipes out of it. And then uh, once you cook it, and you decide if you like it or not, you will either move it to a permanent board or you will delete it, uh, depending on how your family responds and how you respond to the recipe itself. So that is it. That is all you have to do today. I want to know from you, did you uh, create a Pinterest secret board today? Share below. Anybody who uh, posts below the video and engages in the group and answers like the daily kind of assignments, homework assignments, you know, you're getting points and those points are going to be converted to uh, getting your hat in the, your name in the hat for the drawing for the prizes. So um, the more activities you engage in, the higher, the, the more number of times your name is in the drawing for the prizes. So definitely start this now. Create your Pinterest account, create a secret board, start sourcing recipes, and then uh, by the end of the week when we're going to do the official meal plan on Thursday, you already have a collection to work from. So I hope this was helpful. I hope you guys will um, start using Pinterest in this manner and see what a difference it makes for you. Okay, guys, I'll see you tomorrow, and I can't wait to hear that you got everything started today. Have a good one. Bye.